1250, the Egyptian town of Mansoura, a fierce, bloody battle between a crusader army led by King Louis IX of France and Ayyubid forces under the Emir Fakhr ad-Din and the Mamluk Baybars. Saint Louis is motivated by his faith and has sworn to recapture the sacred city of Jerusalem. Baybars and his fellow Mamluks are equally driven by their devotion to Islam and are determined to stop the French king. There, on the ancient Nile River, a key engagement will play out in a centuries-long holy war. This is one of the final battles of the Crusades in the Eastern Levant and will help decide the fate of not only Egypt, but the Holy Land. In 1244, the Crusader Kingdom in the Holy Land lost Jerusalem for the second time. That year, the Khwarazmian Turks attacked and captured the Holy City, burning it, massacring the inhabitants, and leaving it in a state of almost total destruction. News of the raising of Jerusalem spread to the west, where Christians reacted with horror. The King of France, Louis IX, is particularly troubled by the reports. Deeply pious, King Louis took vows in 1244 to lead a crusade to rescue Jerusalem. Already, Louis was widely recognized as a just and morally upright king who took seriously his obligations both to God and to his subjects. As a Christian king, he viewed crusading as one of his most important duties. After a long period of preparation, Louis and his fleet set sail for the Holy Land in 1248. His army, composed of about 15,000 men, including around 2,500 mounted knights, assembled on the Christian-held island of Cyprus. Here, they prepared for their first objective, Egypt. Ever since the end of the Third Crusade, it was agreed that any Crusader army wishing to secure Jerusalem must first conquer and control the enormously wealthy Egypt, which was the power center of the Ayyubid Muslims who dominated the region. Louis' fleet departed Cyprus in May of 1249. In early June, they arrived at the coastal city of Damietta, the gateway to Egypt. The Ayyubid Sultan, as Sali, was determined to resist Louis' landing. But the French army quickly captured Damietta on June 6. Louis and his army occupied Damietta, which would now serve as a base from which they could conduct operations in Egypt. as Sali and his forces retreated up the Nile to the fortified town of Mansoura. In Damietta, the Crusaders held a council to determine their next course of action. At once, there were strong disagreements. Louis's brother, Robert, the Count of Artois, argued for an immediate advance on Cairo, the capital of Egypt, and the heart of the Ayyubid Empire. Robert insisted that the best way to kill a snake was to smash its head, and only by conquering Cairo could they hope to destroy the Ayyubids. The other lords of Louis' war council strongly disagreed. Cairo was located deep in the heart of Egypt, and an attack on that city would require the Crusader army to march far up the Nile, taking them far away from their fleet, which was their source of supplies, and exposing them to being cut off from the coast by the Muslim forces. Rather, the other lords argued that they should attack the coastal city of Alexandria, which was one of Egypt's most important ports. The Christians, with their superior ships, dominated the seas, and the Crusader fleets from Cyprus could easily support an attack on Alexandria. The Crusaders could then hold Damietta and Alexandria indefinitely, depriving the Ayyubids of their most important trade ports. 
This would greatly weaken the Ayyubids and make them less capable of controlling Jerusalem. Robert vehemently argued against this strategy, viewing it as too cautious and ultimately ineffective. Louis agreed with his brother and rejected the advice of his other counselors. Crucially for Louis, he viewed the quick fall of Damietta as a sign from God that he would bless the crusade. For Louis, it was time to take a bold leap of faith. He commanded his knights to prepare to advance south. On November 20, the crusaders began their slow march up the Nile. Louis was careful to maintain his supply lines with Damietta. After a month, they approached the well-defended town of Mansoura. However, fear was spreading across Egypt, for the Sultan as Sali had died, and his heir was far away in Syria. To maintain order while the new Sultan traveled to Egypt, the Emir Fakhr al-Din took control of the Ayyubid forces at Mansoura and prepared to resist Louis' attack. At last, the Christians reached the bank of the Nile opposite Mansoura. They made camp on a wedge of land between the Nile and a tributary called the Bar al-Sayr. On February 7, 1250, local people showed the Crusaders a reliable crossing point, and on February 8, French knights began to move across the river. First to make the crossing was an advance force led by Count Robert of Artois and bolstered by Templars, Hospitallers, and English horsemen led by William Longsby. Robert's orders were to secure the bridgehead and wait for the rest of the army. However, Robert at once led his force in an attack on the Muslim military encampment in front of Mansoura. The assault took the Muslims by surprise and Fakhr al-Din was himself killed in the fighting. Panicked, the Egyptian forces retreated into Mansoura. Fired by this success, Robert decided to try and press his advantage and chased after the Ayyubid troops, hoping to quickly capture the town. However, Robert's luck ran out. Although their commander was dead, the Egyptian forces rallied under the Mamluk Baybars, who led a counterattack. In the narrow streets of Mansoura, Robert's cavalry could not operate effectively. Count Robert was himself killed in the fighting, and his force was almost completely annihilated. Meanwhile, King Louis IX and his main cavalry crossed the Bar al Sahir to find that their advance force was destroyed. Their backs to the Nile, the Crusaders were now faced with a confident and battle ready Ayyubid army, well positioned before Mansoura. At once, the Mamluks led the Muslim troops in an attack on Louis' army. The Crusaders were in a difficult situation. With the Nile behind them, they could not retreat. Louis' tactics were to force a march toward a position directly opposite the previous Christian camp on the other side of the river, where he could hope for reinforcements from the infantry and crossbowmen still on the other side. However, the pressure from the enemy attack was intense, and in places the Crusader cavalry broke off into splintered skirmishes with the Muslims. Enemy arrows particularly devastated the Christians. Fighting lasted all day, with the Crusader forces being worn down. The Ayyubid army was continuously reinforced from Mansoura, and Louis was never able to deploy a cavalry charge. Despite the desperate circumstances, the Crusaders fought with much courage. By the end of the day, Louis was able to receive reinforcements from across the river. Christian archers provided some covering fire, and Louis's cavalry, though greatly weakened, was not completely destroyed. Victory, however, belonged to the Ayyubids, who retired to Mansoura 
confident, and well-positioned. The path to Cairo remained thoroughly blocked to the Crusaders. The Muslim victory at the Battle of Mansoura revealed the weakness in Louis IX's strategy. The king had led his army into a cul-de-sac that threatened to become a death trap. Robert of Artois' failed early attack on Mansoura has often been blamed for the overall defeat, but the Count's rashness probably didn't alter the fundamental problems with the situation. At the end of the day, Louis's troops were far from their base of Damietta, faced with a large and well-situated enemy army, perfectly positioned to defend Mansoura. The concerns of those who had argued against Count Robert back in that early council at Damietta seemed to have been proven sound. <laughs>